Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at radar this morning, and you can see that the pretty much the tropical moisture still in place across the area. Looking a little further south, the mobile radar showing still a lot of moisture coming ashore with lots of showers and thunderstorms to deal with. The Skycam image from Trustville showing the wet streets this morning. Not quite as wet as we look up at Hamilton uh, and a little bit of brightness in the sky, but still a cloudy day across central Alabama. And the rainfall so far has been fairly uh, high, especially on the northwest counties, northwest of Birmingham and southeast of Birmingham. The storm total precipitation for this event so far showing as much as uh, five inches of rain. And of course, the actual amounts uh, may differ from the rainfall estimates from radar, but certainly gives us an idea that a little band uh, through central Alabama, through the middle of central Alabama, extending from about Fort Payne and Scottsboro down across Birmingham and down towards Selma has had a little bit less rain. Still a flash flood watch in effect for today. The surface pattern showing that we do have this strong southerly flow bringing moisture in. The upper air pattern showing that we have uh, that uh, closed low in the vicinity of St. Louis. And looking uh, at uh, the upper air charts, uh, the the 250 millibar heights shows a pretty good jet streak uh, in the vicinity of uh, the Mississippi River, uh, extreme western uh, Mississippi, and that will help uh, to enhance uh, showers and thunderstorms across central Alabama uh, today. So again, keep in mind that flash flood watch. The temperatures this morning generally in the 70s. We're not seeing a lot of temperature change. That's one good thing from the clouds and the rain. And again, flash flood watch is in effect for a good portion of, well, all of Alabama, northwest Florida, the Florida Panhandle, northern Georgia, parts of the Carolinas, parts of the eastern two-thirds of Tennessee and parts of Kentucky. So just keep that in mind when you're out there traveling. Remember, a lot of flash flood deaths occur in automobiles. And the five-day QPF certainly showing uh, what you've already seen from that with uh, the bulk of the rain basically over uh, extending from about uh, Destin and uh, Fort Walton Beach up across to Chattanooga into uh, the uh, area of uh, southern Ohio. Storm Prediction Center uh, outlooking a slight risk and days one, two, and three fairly similar, but slight risk over the uh, north central United States. And uh, tropics are still somewhat quiet. We have two areas we're watching, uh, one helping this tropical plume over the southeastern U.S. and another one extremely far out, but right now conditions just not favorable for any development. Looks like we're going to see showers and thunderstorms pretty numerous today, uh, as you've already seen from the radar, and there's the GFS surface forecast for uh, today. The trough and the upper closed low finally head out tomorrow, according to the GFS. As you can see, it's pulling off to the northeast from its uh, position over St. Louis. It pulls out into uh, extreme southwestern Ohio on Sunday. And while that will reduce or at least uh, limit the showers somewhat, we're still going to see, I think, showers likely. And as a matter of fact, the National Weather Service mentioned the flash flood watch may need to be extended. The trough pulls out Monday to uh, the vicinity of New England, but it does leave a little bit of a weakness over the area. So we're returning to more of a summertime, diurnally driven, heat driven showers and thunderstorms, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. We keep that weakness with us Tuesday and once again still on Wednesday, but Wednesday we begin to see another change. The ridge is building uh, into the western United States and up into western Canada, but the strong shortwave trough coming out of south-central Canada into the western Great Lakes is showing signs of digging into the eastern half of the country. So while that will um, probably bring a front into our area, uh, we're getting out into voodoo country out there towards the weekend, and uh, that you know we'll have to watch the timing of it, but that keeps us pretty much in showers once again uh, on Wednesday. Not much changes in the pattern as the trough begins to dig in, and uh, so that brings a, certainly a welcome change to uh, the Great Lakes area. 
But by Friday, that trough has dug in pretty nicely. Now, the GFS and the European are not exactly in perfect agreement. Uh, the European, or pardon me, the GFS suggesting that the, the front might actually get down into our vicinity on Friday. I'm a little reluctant to buy that. The European has a similar look, but it's a little slower than this, actually uh, by as much as about two days, suggesting late Saturday instead of Friday. Uh, and into Sunday. But nevertheless, uh, it uh, does look like we see that trough come in, so no heat. Uh, so Saturday, a week from today, uh, certainly looks like we could actually see some drier air. Again, I think the GFS might be a little too fast uh, with that, but that would certainly, as the GFS is showing at the surface, indicate uh, some much drier air into our area, and certainly no heat, and that's always good for the summer months. Extending the forecast out into voodoo country, and you can see by the 17th, we still have uh, a trough over the eastern half of the country and the ridge in the west, so uh, the pattern not changing a great deal. And by the end of the period, at the 21st of July, uh, the GFS suggesting that the ridge becomes more dominant over the eastern two-thirds of the country, and so that would certainly uh, suggest uh, warmer days uh, for the uh, latter part of July as the pattern transitions to something a little more typical and not quite as anomalous as we've seen so far. Well, thanks for the tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that uh, you uh, have a great day. Stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on our changing weather. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.